Welcome to this training video on using Excel and text files in Tableau Public. The previous video gave a good overview of how to create and publish visualizations in Tableau Public. We'll now look at the individual steps in a little more detail, starting in this video with how to connect to Excel and text files. When you start a new data visualization project in Tableau, the first thing you'll want to do is connect to a data file. Notice how I said connect and not open. This is because what we do when we connect to a data file is we use it to create visualizations, but we don't edit the data file itself. This is good to know because it means you can't break your data tables by opening them in Tableau. The left hand pane of the splash screen shows us what types of data sources we can connect to. The selection here will depend on what edition of Tableau desktop you're using. In the free Tableau public edition, you can connect to Excel, text files, Microsoft Access files and statistical files. There are other data connectors for OData, Google Sheets and Web Data Connectors. We'll learn more about these data connectors in later videos. In this example, let's connect to an Excel file by clicking on Excel and then navigating to where your data set is saved. This is the same data file we used in the previous video, a table with CO2 emissions by country. Once you've navigated to the data set you want to use, click open. Once Tableau has established a connection with a selected data source, we can see the spreadsheets that are in my Excel file listed on the left-hand side. From here, I can choose the spreadsheets that I want by dragging them over onto this field here and letting them go. Should your Excel file only contain one spreadsheet with data, it will automatically show up here. Now we get a preview of the data in the window underneath. Note by default, the preview is limited to the first 1000 rows. Ideally, your data table will look something like this, with each column containing the data for just one variable and the first row containing the column headers. The little icons above the column headers tell us what type of data the different variable is. A globe symbol indicates a geographic variable. ABC donates a text string, while the pound sign means it's a number. These have been automatically determined upon connection to the data source, but they can be manually changed by simply clicking on the symbols and selecting what type of data you'd rather it be. There are more things that you can do with your data in the preview pane. If your data requires cleaning or transforming, or if you want to bring in several data tables at the same time, you can do all of this in the data preview pane. We'll look and see how you do these in later videos. In our case, the data preview looks good, so we can start working on our first worksheet by selecting go to sheet one here. You can learn more about how to create your first visualization in later videos. Before we wrap up this lesson, I want to quickly repeat this whole exercise with text files. For that, I'll need to open up a new instance of Tableau. This time, I'll click on connect to a text file. Text file can either be a character delimited file like a CSV or a tab delimited file as well. I'm going to navigate to my data set, which is a CSV and hit open. Once we have selected our file, we get a similar preview screen as the one before. However, you'll notice a small difference where previously we had all the spreadsheets within our Excel file, you now see all the text files within the one folder, or in this case, because I only have one text file in this folder, I only see that single text file. Once we have got to our data preview pane, the process is exactly the same as it was for an Excel file. This concludes the video on connecting to Excel and text files in Tableau. In the next video, we'll look at more advanced data connections, including the web data connector and how to connect to Google Sheets. Thank you for watching, and we hope you will continue with the other introductory how-to videos to learn more about Tableau Public.